Um, okay, hello from welcome to um, another section again with Emmy John. And basically today we're going to be talking about um, the breakdown of 251 challenge by Faith Saturday, which I participated. So basically I participated in the 251 challenge of Faith Saturday on Instagram. Um, I was called out by some of my friends to join the challenge, so I had to ju just jump in to try what I have been able to gather for a while. And I'm going to share with you what I was able to do and how was it I was able to do that. So before we do that, um, do well to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you are here to do that, please do that right away. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more intensive piano lessons, breakdown approaches, and interesting video contents coming up every week. Every week, basically. Um, don't forget to share this video, share this video, share this video. Let's get this video trending. Let's get all pianists watching this video. There's a light this video is going to give to you. So be patient, follow this video, and you will testify. God bless you. Okay, um, this most intensive piano by Emmy John is still going on for 2022 section. Join this most intensive piano training to take your plane just to the next level. Um, each concept are being handled weekly, and then we expose um, new concepts, realities, and applications of stuffs which seem complex at first, and you find them becoming very easy to you. Just 5,000 Naira, just 5,000 Naira monthly, join in the lesson, and let's take your plane to the next level. God bless you. Okay, basically, so 12 one challenge by Faith Saturday, the melody was simply this. So basically, that was the melody. One more time again, the melody was simply. So how did I approach that? So basically, what I did was, um, first I used the 251 voicing. So I did this. spell out how I did that and why I was able to do that. I was bringing the harmony home to make it very simple and easy for uh, uh, my listeners to be able to communicate and enjoy locking with what I was playing. So I didn't want to use too much harmony. I didn't want to make it too complex. So I made the harmony very simple. So basically first, I did a minor 9 movement. Simple. So D minor 9 open voicing. Then I did this quartal movement. So I did F or major 7 with a sharp 11. So basically I have F on the left hand with um, B, E, and A on the right hand. So I resolved that to E. E on the left hand with A, D, and G on the right hand. So I did basically again. So basically I did this. I love to slow a lot, so I did this. Like a 4 3 6 5 progression. So I did this um, C on the left hand with F sharp, B, and E on the right hand. With B on the left hand and E, A, D on the right hand. With A on the left hand with um, A on the left hand with D, G, C on the right hand. So basically, I did this. Then I resolved to a 2 5 1. So basically, I did this, but I love the sharp 11 feeling. So I just did basically G altered voicing, G altered voicing. So basically, I did this. So D minor nine close voicing, resolving to G altered voicing, and resolving to um, C sus two voicing or C major nine voicing because of the presence of the bass ten. One more time again, I did. So let me spell this out. So for the 251 at the ending, I did D and F on the left hand with um, C, E, and A on the right hand, resolving down to G, all third voicing. So basically, I did G, F on the right hand, on the left hand, sorry, with um, B, C sharp. D sharp and G on the right hand. It's like.
mighty altered voice in. Shall I do this? So then resolving down to source two voice in with the bass 10. Very much important. Again, I did. Um, so basically, when trying to reharmonize a melody, look out for um, voices that you are already familiar with. Don't go for voices that you don't know. Go for basic something you already familiar with. If it's basic harmony, you know. Go with that. Don't go for a voicing you ain't familiar with. Then again, um, voice leading is very much important. How you harmonize the melody is so much important. How you harmonize it and resolve it is so much important. Then, basically, to reharmonize, you must be able to have studied um, different kind of, of voicings and have them at your, your tip. And then being able to apply them is another case. So it is so much important that you practice often, practice often, study often, build concepts so that you can reharmonize songs easy with different harmonies. Let me try to use a different um, harmony to reharmonize this song. So basically, I will do something like this. Yeah, I will do. Yeah, then something like this. Let me do. Uh, let me do minor eleven. Yeah. So let me do this. I could do this. Yeah. 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 Then last or do. Yeah. Then do. It could be another point of you to reharmonize. I could also use so what voicing to reharmonize by doing. Yeah, by doing. Um, sorry. another point of reharmonization so I could use basic triads to just do um very simple harmonization technique again one more time this for basic beginners very simple if you're not able to do any of these then you really have problem with um, accompanying melody on the left hand. It is so important that you know this because it will help you to be able to um, harmonize melodies very fast. Pick any melody of your choice and use different concepts of chords to harmonize them. You could make this uh, melody a, a seventh voicing. So I could do... Yeah. yeah. Because I'm making it a seventh. That's basically how I choose my voices. I pick melodies and I begin to try them out with different concepts I've been able to gather so far. So by so doing, I can be able to come out with something and then I choose the best that my ear can permit me to use at that moment. So I'm going to stop here for today. Uh, we'll continue next week. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section. Don't forget to join Ongoing Sismos Training for 2022. Subscribe, love, and share these videos. Thank you. And God bless you from Emmy John.